Now in this last part then, we've got to work out this area R. And how are we going to do it? Well, they've given us this coordinate here, 2, 6, for the line L where it intersects the curve. So what you've got to do is essentially think of a dotted line drawn down here. So we've got a triangle in here. And we already know that the area under the curve from the previous part, we worked that out to be 4.0405. So what we've got to do is just work out the area of the triangle minus the area 4.0405. So let's just start then by saying that area R equals, so it's the area of the triangle, and being a triangle is half the base times the perpendicular height. The base is going to be two units because of the two up here, and the height is going to be six units. So you've got half the base, two, times the height, six. And then we just need to subtract the area in here, okay? Bounded by the curve, the x-axis, and this line, x equals two. Okay, so 4.0405. Do that sum on your calculator. And you should find you get 1.9595. And we've got to give this to three significant figures. So that's going to be 1.96. Not that you have to, but it is an area. And I'm just going to put square units, or you could put units squared on the end. OK. You don't have to do that, as I say. But I always like to do that kind of thing, 3SF. OK. Right, that brings us to the end of this question.